Around 1900, Russia was really in a state of transition. Uh, first of all, we should know that it was the largest country in the world. It was predominantly agricultural, but it was beginning to implement capitalism and develop industry. Uh, and society, of course, was very much under the authority of the Tsar. The Tsar was a hereditary ruler who had absolute power, uh, limited only by his conscience, and that could be flexible. People had very few rights, um, and society was divided not according to classes, according to wealth, which is more or less a modern idea, but they were divided into what they called legal estates. For instance, there were the nobles, there were the clergy, merchants, the, the peasants, and those categories were very rigid, and there were rich nobles and poor nobles, rich merchants and poor merchants, rich clergy and, and mostly very poor clergy. So you have a, a, you might call it in today's terms, an oppressed society, censorship, no rights to vote or to organize. And yet, as they say, it was modernizing and, and uh, there were certain currents in, in Russia in the westernization process that began to think about how the Tsar could be either assassinated or overturned and, and implement a more democratic society.